Hey, hey, math friends. So our learning target today is I can add and subtract integers. Now we've been talking about those integers, positive, negative, and zero, whole values. So no fractions, no parts. So those whole values. So what we worked on in our last lesson is how you model them. We looked at modeling, modeling integers with money, having money, owing money. We also looked at modeling integers on a number line where there's some movement. So today we're going to, we're going to do is very similar thought process, uh, just kind of a different strategy in terms of adding and subtracting. So you'll feel like some of this overlaps with what we did yesterday, which is great, or in our last lesson. So if we take a look at this first example, what's another way to look at this? Well, this looks like an addition problem. There's an add sign. And what we're going to do is attach the sign to, to a team. So over here, we have a five. Five is going to be on what we call team negative. So I'm going to put the five on the negative team side. And then we have a two. The two is positive. We're going to put the two on the positive side. And the question here is if this is a tug of war and we talk about sheer numbers with the assumption that everybody has equal strength. Everybody on your team has equal strength. Who would win this tug of war? Who has more power, more strength? And you can see that the negative team, the team negative is going to win. I'm going to give the win to team negative. How many extra people do they have on their team? Well, they have three extra people because they have five and the other team, the positive team only has two. So they win, so we give, neg we give the negative the win, and they have three extra play players. So this is the idea of tug of war while you add or subtract. Okay, so same kind of deal down here. So we're going to do these four together, and then you'll try some on your own. All right, this will be a nice short lesson today. So if we take a look at this problem, we have eight. Which team are they going on? The sign in front is their team. It's kind of like their jersey on the, on the front of their jersey. Which team are they on? They are going to be on team negative. Team negative. Okay. Now, we have another value here. One. Which team are they on? Also on negative. So the super duper big bummer for the positive team is nobody showed up. So on team negative, we have eight players that came in the first car and one in the second car. We have nine total players. So negative eight minus negative one is negative nine. Now notice I didn't chop that or anything. I didn't need to do that because I didn't have two negatives touching each other, which we'll see in a minute. Okay. So we're going to do three more together and you'll have some time to practice this idea of tug of war. Now this next example, you've been doing this example since elementary school, six plus four. Y'all know it's 10, but how does that work in the same I concept? Can we get this to work? Well, this is six. It's an integer and it falls under the positive integer family because we don't see a sign there. So I'm going to put those six players on the team positive. And then the second value, the sign that's in front, I'm going to give them a jersey sign, is team positive with four players. So now we have the opposite situation here. We have all of our players showing up on team positive. So positive 10 is the result. Okay, friends, two more, and then you're going to try some. So stay with me. Now, this one is a little bit tricky, so we're going to take a look at it. Let's take a look at that first sign. That first sign is negative. We have seven players on team negative. Now, the second sign is negative. Three players on weight. Remember that tricky, tricky, chop, chop thing. This sign means we've got to take the opposite of that sign. So therefore, it becomes when two negatives are subtracting a negative next to each other, we chop, chop that into addition, meaning opposite. Now, I'm going to put those in. 
So we have, I know that's a little tricky, but we have seven players on team negative, and we now have three players on team positive. All of that has become a positive because of that opposite sign that was sitting there, that tricky little sign. So three players now on team positive. So what's the result? Well, who's stronger? Who has more players? Negative has more players. How many extra players do they have if they have seven and the positive team only has three? You should be saying, well, four extra players is the result of that. Okay, here we go. So let's take a look. First number, 10. It's an integer. No sign in front, so we assume they're on team positive. That's their jersey. Positive 10. 10 players show up for the positive team. The sign on the back is negative 5. We look at the sign in the middle. It doesn't say opposite, so we're just going to we're just going to um, put these together because it's just addition meaning and. So we're not going to do any change of signs. No stop, chop, chop there because it's not opposite. So we have five players showing up on team negative. So I'm just going to put these in my spots. Who's stronger? Team positive, way stronger. How many extra players? Five. So the result of that is five. Okay. So now this is the, be the rest of our lesson today. These eight problems. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you try the first four. One, two, three, four. You probably do want to write this down on some paper, some any paper that you have. And then I'm going to have you pause the video. We're going to go through those four. And then we're going to do the same thing for the last four. So we should be out of this video in less than 10 minutes today, okay? So let's see how we do. Pause that video. Give those first four a shot. Okay, guys. So you should have tried those first four. So you should be coming back into the video now. So let's take a look at what you've done. Let's see if we have these right. We have a negative three and we have a negative two. We're not chop chopping those because they're not next to each other. So we have three and two. All of those players showed up on team negative. Okay, grade your paper, see how you did. Next problem is our situation that we've been talking about. So we have positive four. We have this negative five, except we have this sign in the middle that says opposite. So now I have to take the opposite of that negative five. Okay, I'm going to erase this just because I need some space. All right, here we go. So we have four players on team positive. This now all is a positive because of the opposite sign. We have five players on team positive. So the result of that is positive nine. Positive nine. All right. Next one is super duper duper obvious, right? Seven plus two. We all know seven plus two is nine. But how do you model that? Well, we have seven players on the positive team because this is really a positive seven. And we have two players on the positive team. So all of those players show up on the positive team. Answer is positive nine. Likewise, the next problem, you've all, been, you've all know that seven minus two is five. But let's model that in the same situation. So we have seven players on the positive team. We have two players on the negative team. Who's stronger? Positive is stronger. How many extra players? Five extra players. Five extra players. So the result of that is positive five. So take a look at how you did. See how you did. Then I'm going to have you pause the video. And you have four more to down, do down here. So go ahead and pause that video. I said 10 minutes. I might be lying. I might be lying. Okay, so you should be just coming back from that video after you've paused it, you've given it a shot. I actually do want you to do that. I don't want you just to pretend like it's some game, okay? So let's make that happen. You got this. So first value is negative 8. Second value is positive 8. Put them in the teams. It might be super duper clear to you that that is going to be a tie. Nobody wins that game. But let's see what it looks like. Eight players on team negative. Eight players on team negative. The result of that would be zero. Nobody wins. Equal fair game. That's definitely a fair game. Okay. So team positive has six players here. Six players on team positive. 
we have three players on team negative. Now check out that sign in the middle. It does not say opposite. So we're just going to go ahead and add. So who's stronger? Well, positive stronger. They have more people. How many more people on their team? They have three more people because they have six and the negative team only has three. All right. See how you're doing. Two left for today. So first problem is 10. It's a negative. Negative 10. The second team, seven. It's positive seven. Who's stronger? Negative has more people. They're stronger. How many extra people? Three extra people because they have 10 and the other team only has three or only has seven rather. So the result of that is negative three. The result. Last problem of the day. I guess I'm not getting it in under 10 minutes. Sorry about that. But whatever. Here we go. First problem. We have a nine. Team negative has nine players. Let's take a look at our value in the back. We have this negative eight sitting there. However, we have this opposite sign. So we have to take the opposite of that. So it's that idea of shop, shop, and now it's addition. So this is all addition eight, positive eight. Who is stronger? Team negative is stronger. How much stronger? One extra player. Okay, so our summary for today is just make sure that you're careful when you have that stop, chop, chop situation, that opposite. And then make sure that you take the sign in front on front of the on the front of their jersey and put them in the right teams. Great job today. Have a fabulous night.